Hey guys. Hey guys. We're back with another Game of Thrones review, this time reviewing Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 9, titled Battle of the Bastards. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Hey, I'm going to go on record right now and call this the absolute best episode of the entire series. Yeah, I'm going to back that because um, we got all three dragons, Daenerys riding a dragon, and Bolton being eaten by his dog. So, I mean, it was pretty phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> so the episode opens, and it's the Battle of Marine, basically. The, the Master's ships are still firing their catapults at the, at the city, and Tyrion gives Daenerys some really great advice, and it's something that I think she really needed to hear. She needed to be reminded that her dad was a maniac, yeah. and she was kind of going that direction. And it's something people have mentioned in our, com in our comments, that are we going to have the Mad Queen? And I think that little conversation with Tyrion is going to fix that. Yeah, I think so too. I think this will remind her of why she's doing what she's doing. Yeah. And then, like you said, Danny, she got on Drogon, she flew around a little bit. I'm just like, I was on the edge of my seat just waiting for her Dracarys and to burn the fleet. But no, she only burned a few ships and yeah. then just took the rest. Yeah, which was probably the smartest yeah. move she can make because she needs those ships. Yeah, absolutely. And then Yara and Theon make it to Marine in this episode. And they kind of swear fealty to her to, su to support her claim to the Iron Throne. And in turn, she promises to support Yara's claim to the Salt Throne and to basically let them do their own thing, but they got to make some changes. Yeah, and I think one of the only reasons that she supported them instead of just taking their ships uh, was because Yara was going to be queen. Yeah. Like, she, they never had a queen, and I think she saw a little bit of herself in Yara. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's the reason why she agreed to these terms, when in all reality she could have used her dragons and taken those ships. Yeah, I, I think there was a lot of camaraderie there and a lot of girl power. Yeah. So, so I, I think she definitely saw some of herself in Yara. But she, she made them promise that they, they can't do things, you know, it's not going to be the status quo. No raiding, no uh, pillaging, no raping. They're going to have to find a new uh, way of life, basically. Yeah. And they agreed to it. Yeah. Well, I think they realize that they're not going to have a choice. Once mm. she's on the throne, she will make them submit, She's yeah. who, regardless of who's running the Iron Island. So it was kind of a best case scenario they don't lose any men this way there was a theme throughout this episode of leaders and masters not willing to fight or die for their men it's something that gray worm said you know to the soldiers that, that were there with the masters during the the parlay and of course the soldiers all ran off and it's something that john snow said to ramsey yeah so i was like all right i wonder if that's going to play out in in the the battle of the bastards as well and that didn't really play out in, in the bad. I kind of wish it had. I would have liked a little bit of a parallel there. Yeah. So speaking of the Battle of the Bastards, oh my, it was as far as like epic battles in Game of Thrones, I think it's right up there with Hardhome. Yeah. And it was, it was pretty phenomenal. Like against all odds, they were still doing okay. They would have lost. Yeah. I think they would have lost had um, the Eerie not shown up, but nothing got, came even really close to hitting John. It, it felt very much like he was being protected. So yeah. we kind of have this feeling that the uh, Lord of Light was protecting John. Yeah. And Specifically, there, there's two times where like a dozen arrows just fall all around him. And, and he, everybody around him falls. Except yeah. for, yeah, everybody yeah. but him so falls. So I'm like, all right, there's he's charmed. Or, or yeah. maybe uh, Melisandre was doing something to, to protect him. But there's definitely yeah, something going on yeah. there. He was definitely protected by some kind of supernatural force. Yeah, and then there was another part where somebody was charging him and somebody else got that person right before they got to John because John wasn't even facing this person. That happened at least twice, I think. Yeah. 
And then, of course, like you mentioned earlier, Ramsey Sansa feeds Ramsey to his own dogs. Yeah. The perfect end to that asshole. Yes, and you know, when John was beating Ramsey and he stops after he sees Sansa, we were upset. We're like, no, why did you stop? Just kill him, end him. Um, and I even made the comment, or let San Sansa do it. Just yeah. like he needs to die. I don't think John stopped because he planned on sparing him. I think he did stop so Sansa could do what she wanted. Like he looked up, saw Sansa, and it was like there was an agreement that this was hers. But you know, that didn't occur to me until he was tied up in the cell and she let the dogs in. I was like, oh my gosh. John gave her the kill. Like yeah. he stopped out of respect for her because. Ramsey did more to her than anybody else, and if anybody deserved to kill him, it was her. R Ramsey's life was hers to take yeah. or or not, yeah. or, depending on what she saw fit. And she saw fit to feed him to the dogs. Yeah. And, oh my gosh. I, better than Joffrey's death? It's right yeah, up there. I, it's I think right it's, up it's there. right up there. Right they're, up there. they're neck and neck as far as the, yeah, person <laughs> I hate died <laughs> kind yeah. of moment. The only thing that disappointed me about this scene is I really wish they would have picked a different dog because um, right now there's like a lot of animosity towards pit bulls and people don't want to adopt pit bulls because they think they're mean and they're fighting dogs and that's the dog they used for the scene. So I kind of wish they would have chosen a different dog. I was a little disappointed they used a pit bull. Okay, this was episode 9 of season 6. There's one episode left. And from the promo, you know, Tyr we, the last thing we see in the promo is Tyrion talking to Daenerys, saying you're part of the big game now, and the big game is terrifying. Yeah. So are we going to start to see Daenerys making her way toward Westeros in the finale? I really hope so, yeah. because I think they're only doing 7 episodes next year. I think they're planning on wrapping oh it up. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. crazy. I read that somewhere. I don't know if that is correct or not. But uh, yeah, it sounds to me like they're looking to wrap it up here really fast in season seven. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you even believe it? No. It's, that's nuts to me that, that it's getting ready to finish up. Or maybe it's uh, seven episodes for season seven and then there's going to be a season eight. I, I don't really remember. I read it a while ago and it just entered my head tonight that the series is almost over. So one of the things that occurred to us was, why did Sansa not just tell Jon that she had another army on the mm -hmm. way? And um, at first, it like it just didn't make sense. But then, like when the Eerie showed up and you saw her sitting next to next to Peter, it was like, oh, she must have had to agree to something that Jon's not going to be happy with, mm -hmm. and that's why she didn't tell him. So now I'm kind of curious what she agreed to. Another thing in the promo is there's a tiny little snippet of Peter Baelish talking to Sansa, and he's like, I thought you knew what I wanted. I mean, presumably marriage. So maybe yeah. that's not what she agreed to, but that's what Peter meant in this agreement. There's something more there than what we even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of imagine that um, however the agreement went, she probably thought she was saying she would marry Robin, and he actually met himself. That's kind of where I'm thinking is that like she agreed to a marriage, but she just assumed it was Robin and Peter met him. So who knows? We'll find out next week. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the season's almost over no. already, but next week looks like it's going to be awesome. Cersei's trial is coming up. There's all kinds of stuff to wrap up for this season. Yeah. So next week is going to be amazing. This episode, 609, best episode of the series. Yes, totally agree. All right, that's it for this review. If you have anything to add, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and we really hope you did, tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.